What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 video, and in today's video, I finally found a inline 4 engine that can be turboed. This one actually already has a turbocharger on it, but we'll just upgrade it to the performance version. So yeah, that's what we got to do today, and I'm excited because now we know we can do one. I swear I thought though that you could add it, but... I guess not. Um, it has to be a double. Let me check. It has to be a double overhead cam, and the last ones we did were single overhead cams, so I think that's part of the reason. So here we go. Um, this car is called the Royal Crown. Um, I all I think also it's another one called like the Mayan. M6 is same, basically the same thing as this, um, except for it's like a sedan and it has a turbo on it also. So those are the two cars that we know. All right, we'll just start pulling this thing apart, plucking it apart piece by piece so that we can get... I always check for f uh, fenders in the rear and I forget that it's like rear quarter panels and they usually don't have fenders on them. I do it every time. All right, every piece off that. Let's repair this. Oh, nice. All right. Um. Let's see what we have here. I'm in the wrong shop. That's why. There we go. The Royal Bianco. Um, was it Royal? There we go. All right. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, smoked out tail lights. Rear diffuser. Let's do this one and this one, this one and this one. All right, there we go. Now we got everything. These headlights are sick, actually. Oh, there's the hood. Close. Let me see how it looks. All right, I like it. I like it. Fender, fender. Oh, no door. So you need both left side doors. All right. And I think we have both of these. All right, so we just need both left side doors. Body part shop Royale the Royale Crown left front left door rear left door there she is all right okay can't tell if that's just supposed to be that color or if that's rust let's fix it really quick that was rust all right good to know. Um, let's move this into the paint shop. Always gotta paint them cars. Alright, um. Let's go with blue. Alright, let's go with the blue. Um. Not light blue. Let's go with like a teal. You know what? That sounds good to me. That is very, very teal. All right, now, so I remember, we are gonna take this into the dyno and get a base read on it. Uh, when you actually dyno cars, yeah, they usually get like a base map just to see where you are starting at. All right, so just the same, we're gonna tune the ECU. There we go, oh gosh, that took forever. All right. All right, here we go, first test run, turboed inline four. Okay, 212, that's that's not awful. That's not awful. Uh, we have definitely seen worse, uh, just like our last episode. All right, now let's tear this guy, or let's move it over, then let's tear it apart. All right. All 
Ooh, okay. So we'll just start basically I think yeah, just let's just take everything apart. Um Forged internals or whatnot is what we're gonna do for this one because we want to see how much we can push um, This with one of those newer looking turbos uh, the performance turbos All right, Clips clip All right Air filter looks pretty good looks like a pretty good decent shape Pump. Starting with all of the uh, belts and everything for this episode, and because just switching things up, doing it a little bit differently, seeing if I can do it faster this way actually. Only because most of this is all about speed and how fast I can do it. Time on belt. Can you? All right. So this is a newer one because it's got the ignition coils and there's no like ignition packs. Um, uh, other inline four we did last episode, it used ignition, an ignition pack, yeah, which is just older. So we'll check the right side of this engine and see if there is a pack here. I don't think so. Yep, nothing. Doesn't look like they have anything. So yeah, exhaust manifold cover. It's probably something for like the turbo. So gadget a lot. Google. Oh, I don't know what I was trying to say there. Um, yeah, usually um, with turbo cars, you wrap the uh, either the manifold, the downpipe, or any of the turbo or pipes that connect up to it because it gets super, super, super hot on these turbos. And uh, it can, like, start warping the top of your hood if it's too close or start melting things because I've seen some videos where turbos and, like, exhaust pipes literally just turn red hot. Like, it can get bad if you, uh, especially if you don't have it, if it's not done right. Yeah, you can be melting stuff, damaging, like, your engine block and other kinds of things. Say, so, turbos are nothing to mess around with. Yeah, that's why you always, I don't think they have, like, an oil feed line on this either. Usually you have something that feeds oil to your turbo so that it doesn't just run dry. So that is very, very bad for it, as, I mean, most would think. Uh, drive axle, ooh, front wheel drive. Okay. That means I don't have a drive shaft, which makes this so much easier. I hate having to do the drive shafts. It's uh, it's just really hard to click on the drive shafts and do all those. All right, rubber bushing, lower arms, tie rod, outer, inner. Pull off that rubber bushing. So wing around here. <laughs> huh. there we go. Oh, we're getting stuff done now quick. So it was 212, if I think I remember right, was the power that that was pushing. Um, my prediction is 416 I think that's what we'll, we'll hit by the end of this I think we'll be hitting 416 horsepower uh, I think I feel like that's a really really bold statement but I think it can hit that I think it can hit that <laughs> emphasis on I think I don't know oh the drive shafts in the way that's weird been a long time since I worked on a front wheel drive car. All right, clutch release bearing, clutch pressure plate, and the clutch and flywheel. Alright. Alright, we'll grab our little oil bucket so we don't lose a uh, hundred bucks that we don't need to be losing. Okay. It's got a little like. Saints logo on there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Glug, 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 glug. Out with the old and in with the new. Alright, gotta get these caps off. Oh, 
right. Move this guy. Drop the car. Piston, 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 piston. Now let's take out the rear suspension really quick. I'm gonna take this car for a test drive once we finish. I wanna see if the game actually makes the uh, the sounds, or actually has like the sounds that a turbo would make. Because you know, that's one of my favorite sounds. And I really wanna see if they actually have it in here. That'd be really cool if they did put it in here too. Right, this one out of here. See, this these suspensions are a little bit more difficult than the regular ones. There's a lot more parts on this one than the leaf spring suspensions. Dang. So this guy there he is. And I think there's a small rubber bushing right there. All right, we could drop that. Now on to the other side. There we go. I'm trying, to I'm trying to take off. What I usually try to do when I try to take things apart, I try and take apart the pieces that you have that you don't have to unscrew. I try and do those first, mainly because it's just quicker, and I feel like it gets everything out of your way a lot easier. And that's just, I know, it's just kind of what my thought process is when I'm doing it. Alright. And that. A lot of rubber bushings on this rear suspension. Drop this. Ooh, where are we? There we go. Alright. Drop the car back down. Or no, no, no. Crankshaft. Now drop the car down, take the block out, and we can repair everything. Alright, there we go. Teardown process is complete. Alright, let's just go through repair everything that we can. Most of this stuff we're not going to be able to use though, especially for the engine. We are, we're at 78%, 80, 82. Okay, here we go. Okay, we didn't lose too much. Now, everything that's not in good condition, we're going to sell. Yeah, it's just a lot of like those wear worn parts. Once they just take a lot of wear in. And then if you can't repair them either. Oh, dude, shout out to the person who told me that you hold shift and you can click things. Oh, that has made my life so much unbelievably easier. Oh. All right. Wait. Okay. Put slicks on this. Because we're going to be taking this baby to the drag strip later. All right. Up in the air you go. Crankshaft. In line four. Oh wait, I already have two. Oops. I think I actually bought an extra one last, yeah, last video. Alrighty. And then we need I'll buy the oil filter while I'm down here. Oh, hey, we already got that piece. Look at that. That's nice. All right. Time for some forged pistons. And hey, I remember now that we already have two pistons. So all we need to buy is two more. Alright, we need a, a good engine head. Let's 
Screw that in. Oh, black and red. Let's see, this is the double overhead cam. You can tell because, I mean, <laughs> obviously there's two cams in it, but um, I still have all these pieces. That's freaking great. So, so it looks like messing up on last video wasn't a complete failure after all. But yeah, because you can see there's two, two sets of valve springs on each side. All right, so let's buy the cams. Where is it? Just regular camshaft? Okay. I still need to find out what the 300 SL and the 560 SEC are. I still have no idea. One, two, three, four. I'm sending the ignition. Four. Then. We don't need any of that rotor crap because this is a newer car, thankfully. Ah, okay, yeah, we'll just put that on just to get it out of our way. Really weird location to screw in the engine head cover, I, or, yeah, really weird. All right, boom, an extra 10 horsepower with just those pieces alone. Alright, so we're gonna need fuel. One of those, one of those, one of those. Ah! Oh, we have no good batteries. What is this? An i4DI. There it is. We're gonna need some battery. There we go. Nope, not you. There we go. The nice, the shiny one is what we want. All right, and we're gonna need a new throttle too. All right, go down here. Throttle, and then we're gonna want power steering pump, alternator. Probably should have bought like a belt tensioner too, mainly because I know we'll need one of those. But oh well. All right, cam gear. Actually, it's just a air filter. And then we're gonna need timing belt. All right, there we go. And timing belt. Then cover. And then the engine is just about done. Idler roller A. Also, know we're gonna need A. Tensioner and a crankshaft pulley. Crankshaft pulley R4. I should make a. I should try and go through one of these times and buy every single part that you need for an engine and just try and rebuild it without ever going back into this once. I wonder if I'd be able to do it actually. I feel like I might be able to. I'm not sure how many belts I'm gonna need. What the heck? What am I doing? There it is. The other belt I bought looked exactly the same as that one. That's why I bought it. Dang it. All right, we managed to save all the clips. Looks like we did. Manifold cover. I don't think there's going to be an aftermarket one of those, mainly because... Oh, here we go. Additional 10% horsepower with this baby alone. So 
So yeah, the way it works is so let me scroll. Okay, so you have the exhaust gases that come out of here and they walk so there's two turbines right here. There's one right here, there's one right here. So what happens is the exhaust, once the car is running, comes out here and it spins this turbine and then it filters down into the exhaust. And then the, since that turbine gets spun by the exhaust gases, what happens is is that this is the intake half and it sucks in gas, um, or not gas, <laughs> it sucks in air through here and then it pushes it down through here into the intercooler and then it gets cooled through the intercooler and then it loops its way around to the throttle way over here so yeah it requires a lot of piping but that's pretty much just the gist of it um it's a lot uh more powerful when you have forced induction which is what that's called it's called forced induction uh just regular cars are called naturally aspirated cars oh wait ABS pump See, I thought I was forgetting something up here. All right, let's go to the back now. All right, yeah, let's just focus on this part for now. I'll go to everything else in a minute. Good, we still have one of those. Let's see, rubber. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I also need a shock absorber. I bought the wrong one, no! Dang it. I thought I was being real sneaky there and I was going to get it right that time. Ooh, we managed to save a lot of these suspension parts. Which is good news for us. Oh, we lost one there. Then we need sway bar A. Sway bar A. Sway, rear sway bar A, two of those. We're gonna need rear springs too. Then we're gonna need one more spring cap. Look at that. Putting everything together like a boss. Then we're gonna need Brake discs. I wonder if we managed to save all of our rotors or our calipers. Oh, it looks like we didn't save like any of them actually. Well, that's not good. All right, go over here to this other side. Ooh, we're missing one. Rear axle knuckle house breaking. Blah blah blah. Ah. So this is going to go rear knuckle housing A. All right, there we go. I'm getting a lot of stuff put on really quickly. Let's put that in. What is that? It's the rear suspension arm A. There we go. Saying sorry if I'm really quiet this video, everybody. Um, I'm just not really feeling too well. Throat kind of a little bit scratchy, hurts a little bit. I think I might be getting a little sick, which is really bad. I hate getting sick. All right, that looks good. Missing that. Suspension takes a lot longer than the freaking engine does. Oh my gosh. 
I spelled fuel wrong. I thought I bought one of those earlier. I guess I did not. I know I bought the pump. So. Rear suspension R. This one right here. Then I know it's got. Oh. Ah, uh, I'm inside of everything. Oh, look at those drags. <laughs> There's like no traction on them. It's just pure rubber. That's freaking crazy. All right, nice, nice pretty looking rims. Or, yeah, rims. So we need a rear muffler in the tuner shop. go let's go over here and check out what we got Catalyst converter muffler middle muffler all right we'll drop that in oh oh whoa like wait a second Okay, steer, and then we need rubber bushings. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh, whoa, we actually had a, a steering rack? That is weird. That, that kind of stuff never happens. I never managed to save one of those. All right, front sway bar. There we are, front sway bar, and then we're also going to want to get some... I want to get some of these. Whoa, I got really messed up there for a second. Alright, oil pan. No good flywheels. All right, that's okay. So we're gonna want clutch one, one of those, one of these, and a flywheel. There we go. So I think the f oh oh ah oh, ah. Oh, oh. So I think the um like the clutch alone or the transmission alone with all the uh, extra parts we add on. I think it adds on like an extra 10% horsepower. So I think overall, if we do this right, I think we should be adding like an extra two or 100% horsepower total, which is like basically just doubling it. I think. All right, so we're still gonna put that part on. But. There we go. So yeah, we still need to put the uh, starter on, which in inline fours in smaller cars you put it on from the top. There we go. You gotta have the wheel hub to get the everything else in. Take the bearing. Oh what? No, no brake calipers. What is this? Oh, looks like we're popping over to the other side now. Just bouncing around everywhere, I guess. Oh, check it out. This thing's floating in air. There you go. Now it's connected by something. All right. Then the drive axle. Pads. Caliper. Okay, good thing I didn't want to put that tire on because I hate it when it tries to suggest to put the tire on. Um, there we go. Got all of those. One, two. Does it keep the same camera view? Nope. It's front end link A. La 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 link. 
All right, there we go. That thing attaches right up to the sway bar. We can toss on our classic rims. We'll have to buy one more classic rim. Let's get this caliper set on. Shock absorber. And then a cap. And this link. See, I actually broke one of these on my mom's car a few years back. Whoa. Now we want room classic. There we go. Yeah, I, I broke one of those uh, end links on her thing. I literally just like twisted it and bent it somehow. I think I took a corner really, really sharp and it somehow just bent and broke. It was really, really weird. Made a really loud sound, so I, I definitely heard it. Ooh, okay. I think this guy's almost done. You just gotta buy the starter. Alright. Check everything over. Everything's a hundred. Let's do one of our rituals. Add some good w oh, good 10W30 oil. I keep trying to say like WD-40 for some reason. I don't know why. All right, close the hood. Looks good. Take him over to the dyno. I wonder if it's still gonna be dynoed. It is not. That's not good. Oh, there we go, everybody. That took forever. All right, test run. Here we go. Oh, it's looking promising. Okay, it added 103 horsepower total. So we got about a 50% boost on that. That's not... It's not terrible. It's not great, though. What do we got? All right, we're going to take this onto the test track now. The old factory test track. Here we go. All right, here we go. We're on the test track. Let's see how this goes. Whoa. Oh, oh, it's automatic. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, I about crashed him. Oh, this is actually a lot harder than it looks. Oh, no. We were making great time. There we go. Here's the bumps. Blub, 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 blub. Oh, they want me to stop right there? Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was awful. Nobody take note on how to drive like that. Don't do that. That's bad. All right. Oh, give us a little report. That's cool. That's cool. All right, everybody. You've seen it. Turbo car. Still not nearly as great as a V8 or a supercharged V8. Still doesn't make that much power. I mean... They're cool and all, turbos on these cars are cool, but I mean, anything would be cooler on a V8. So, I mean, we gotta hand it to the V8s. We always got to, but if you liked what you saw on this video, everybody, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will see you all in the next video.